Hey, it's Dan here, and what I'm going to be making for you today is a uh, stuffed pork loin. Um, I've been watching everybody for about the last week and a half, two weeks on YouTube making their version of it. It's made me real, real hungry for one. So I'm going to show you my way. It's real quick. It's easy. Uh, I know I'm rushing through this. It's already 7.30 in the evening. I just got off of work. Um, hopefully it turns out good. Well, I guess we'll find out together. I've made it this way a hundred times. Uh, the only thing I messed up on is uh, when you cut it, a lot of people just butterfly it and then they take a meat mallet and they pound it out and everything. Well, I go two-thirds of the way down and I try cut mine. And then I go about halfway through again and you try not to get any holes in it. Unfortunately, I got that hole there and there and I accidentally cut this little piece off. But I promise you it's still going to be good. The stuffing is very easy. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper on the inside. Little bit of salt. And then some garlic powder. And then I just got some generic Italian dressing here. I'm just going to squirt a little bit on there, just as like a little binder or whatnot. And then I got this uh, cornbread stuffing mix. This is just a six ounce box. We'll see how much of it it takes. And if you get a little bit up, you know, that's what I love about cooking outside. Heck, I'm putting the whole six ounces on there. I'll just smooth it out. And yes, this is totally uncooked. I promise you the uh, juices from the pork chop will make this. I'm just going to put a little more dressing over it just for a little seasoning. Then I'm going to try to roll this back up. Unfortunately, like I said, I have those two holes right there, so it's making this part a little bit hard. But there we are. That is rolled up. Give me just a second to uh, grab my little cute Dutch oven that I'm going to be cooking in today, and I'll be right back. All right, I got this little square Dutch oven. Uh, this is made by Ozark Trail. Uh, the lid is also doubles as a grill and griddle. Um, I can't remember exactly what capacity it is or whatever. I do know that this is a four pound pork loin and it is gonna fill this up quite a bit. Um, I, I can, couldn't pass this up, I was at that big box store wally world and this was 17 or 18 dollars had to pick it up i've used it a couple times it is neat as all get out um, i've even done a little bit of deep frying of uh, fish in it before i put the loin in it i'm just going to spray it down a little bit of canola oil even though this pork loin still has plenty of fat and everything on it and there will be quite a few juices i just want to eliminate any chance of it sticking because I'm going to be throwing this in my grill. I got my grill preheating to 350 degrees right now. So let's see if I can, without losing everything inside here, let's see if I can transfer this in. And like I said, I knew it was going to take up a lot of it. And you want to know something, I'm not going to waste this stuffing. Even though it's not inside it, it's going right there. Now, what I also have, these are these uh, um, baby Dutch yellow potatoes. 
I've already rinsed these and everything. I'm just going to put a line of them down either side. For that spot right there and then I got a, a one pound bag of uh, these baby carrots I'm just gonna top it off of baby carrots ever how many it'll hold I'm thinking I can get the whole bag in but we will find out because I still gotta somehow get this lid on because I am gonna cook it with the lid on that way I don't get as much shrinkage on the meat and uh, the juices stay in because uh, that stuffing's gonna draw quite a bit of the juices out of it. So I need to keep the lid on so I'm not boiling my juices away. All right, that looks pretty good right there. Now, since you noticed I hadn't seasoned the top yet, just do it the same way I did the inside. I'm just going to put a little bit of the Italian dressing on there. Black pepper. Garlic powder. And just a touch of salt. That's everything I'm going to season it with. Since I'm going to put the smooth side of this lid down, I do want to spray it real quick because it's going to be sitting right on there. It's not going to have a good seal quite yet until the uh, meat cooks down a little bit. Now let me get this flipped over. And actually, it did go all the way down. Beauty of the way to cast iron. I'll be right back with you here in a second, and I'll be throwing it on the grill. All right, my grill's up to 350 degrees. So let me open it up. I hope not to lose too much heat. Let's toss this right inside here. Oh, that's a cool echo when you stick your head in there. I don't know if you guys could hear that on the film or not. Oh, I'm tired, so uh, if I'm acting silly, I apologize. But I'm going to let this go in here for roughly two hours, then I'll check on it. But I'm going to guess it's going to take anywhere from two and a half to two hours and 45 minutes to cook. Um, like I said, I'll check it at two hours. Um, I know I rushed through this real quick for you guys. Um, but like I said, I've been watching everybody else make their version. I really wanted to show you mine. I was going to do it in my regular Dutch oven over the coals and everything, but I do make this a couple different ways. And when it gets cooler out and everything, and I get my Dutch ovens out again and going, I'll make you a different version of this and that. But if you guys like what I'm doing, like my videos, please hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you subscribe, hit that little bell next to subscribe, and you'll get notifications every time I uh, put out a video. With that being said, I'll be back in about two hours and we'll see what this looks like. All right, guys, I don't know if you're able to see this or not. It's awful dark out here. Um, I made the mistake um, when I put it on the grill, I went inside to do my dishes and everything. Came back out about 45 minutes to an hour later, realized my gas bottle ran out. Um, so I've lost all the light tonight, so I don't know how I'm going to do my... Uh, taste test or anything but man this smells delicious hopefully um with what little light i do have out here i got my bug lights on and everything else i'm gonna pull this top off first i mean my goodness let me turn around and look at the camera 
I'm going to try to zoom this in just a little bit if I can. That is one of the prettiest things I've ever seen in my life. Care is so tender. I'll get a potato here in a minute. I'm going to take this inside. I'm going to plate it up. Uh, hopefully I get a taste test for you guys. Once again, I apologize, but like I said, I ran inside the house, do some dishes and everything. The one tip or trick I'll tell you about cooking, make sure your gas bottle's full. I apologize about the darkness and everything. I'll be back with you here in just a few minutes, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hey guys, if you made it this far into my video, I truly appreciate it. I apologize, it got real dark last night. I wasn't able to do my usual taste test at the end of the video, but it did turn out very good. If you guys try this recipe, um, I don't believe you'll be disappointed. Um, once again, I just want to thank all of you for watching my videos and everything. Um, right now, I'm actually, I just got off of work. I found a uh, black stone on clearance and I'll show it to you here. It's a little 17 inch. If I can turn that down now. And I'm playing with it right now, and I'm trying to get it all seasoned up. Um, you might see that in future videos. It'll be a while before you see that. I've never cooked on a blackstone before. Um, actually, I used to make fun of people with blackstones. Used to tell them that my uh, big lodge uh, griddle was the only blackstone I needed. But it was on clearance. I'm going to try it out. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying all my videos. I hope you all have a very blessed day, and thank you again.